Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope everyone's going to have a wonderful weekend. It is Saturday, July 20th, 2024. A current live view of uh, the back basin there at the Norris Geyser area uh, from the camera by um, Old Faithful. Look at all the people walking over here. Do they realize they're walking on the top of an active volcano? Yeah, they probably trust the government that they would get warnings and they would close the park if it was unsafe. But yeah, do you trust the government? It is currently almost 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Yeah. USGS is reporting five earthquakes within the last 24 hours. The largest was a magnitude 2.7. Stanley Idaho, which was 6.2 miles in depth. Right there. I'll go more into that in a minute. Uh, the one signature that does show up the strongest... Uh, for the different four monitors that I downloaded was a 2.2 um, 5.4 miles in depth they didn't fudge about this earthquake on the far left is the monitor for Yellowstone Lake that is a borehole there's the 2.2 next to it is Denny Creek uh, the next monitor that it shows up on is for the Norris Geyser Basin that is second from the right and then I have the western boundary. Being a borehole, borehole 208, it is really deep. Uh, so it only picks up activity that occurs there under the ground. And you can see we got two more. This one is marked in red. There is a little one. Let me show you the seismic signature first. There you go. There was one felt report sent into USGS, more than likely here. Um, in this location. This is the airport. This is near Hedgen Lake. You can see that up over here. Yeah, they have a wolf cam that you can watch there. A little um, research center where they got wolves. I'll give you a link to it. It's called the Grizzly and Wolf Discovery Center. And they have a live, um, I think it's live, or maybe it's just still images. You can see currently two wolves here in the image. Yeah, I wonder how the wolves reacted to this earthquake right there. The USGS gave it an intensity level of 3, which means it was felt noticeably indoors, but not always recognized as an earthquake. Standing autos rocked slightly, vibration like a passing truck. The next one I'm going to show you is um, by Stanley, um, Idaho, 40 kilometers northwest. So that would be about 25 miles. It was probably about the same depth as the 2.2. Uh, so the shaking was um, probably a little bit higher than intensity level 3. But USGS didn't give it an intensity level. No reports were sent in to USGS that they felt it. So going to Google Earth, here's the location. I wonder if there was any... Um, rock slides from this earthquake drawn out in red is the trans chalice fault zone I've talked about this before it goes all the way up into Canada the largest earthquake in this location was a magnitude 6.3 that was in uh, 2020 this is created by an extensional um, stretching and we got mountain building over here. And we also got the uh, Chalice Volcanic Field. What's important to know about that, let me show you, is that the magma plume comes up all the way from the Gulf of California, crossing under the United States, and rises up there um, by Yellowstone Lake. And then it actually extends towards the area of Snake River Plateau. And then, yeah... It's putting pressure, um, creating the extension that's going on there. This explains why the recent volcanic eruptions happened along the Snake River Plateau. 
as early as about 2,000 years ago. Here you can see Yellowstone Lake where the magma comes up and how it extends to, uh, going towards the west. And then we got the Madison River area um, where we got also magma pushing up and creating all the earthquakes in that location. USGS talks about blobs of magma, pockets of magma. So here's an image that uh, kind of gives an example about these pockets of magma. And it's like a sponge. The magma rises up and soaks up into the holes of a sponge. Yeah, rising up from the uh, caldera, from the different chambers. So I've talked about this in the past. Many of you who have followed me over the years would remember. But here it says, by analyzing GPS and radar data, researchers say that unusual ground deformation was likely the result of deep magma intrusion beneath the Norris Geyser Basin between 1996 and 2001. This was followed by the volatile ascent and accumulation at a level possibly just a few hundred meters, about 600 feet below the surface. Yeah, there's pockets of melt. Um, only 600 feet from where all these people are walking. The magma that rose beneath the basin appears to have got, gotten shallower between 2014 and 2016. So it could be shallower than 600 feet right now. So this is the reason why um, sometimes they close down pathways, the different walkways, because it's gotten so hot from the magma um, rising up. Uh, and, of course, comes with gases. People don't realize how dangerous it is. And in the past, there's been areas where they have closed down roads because the asphalt of the roads were uh, melting. So what they did was uh, take out the roads, put in a layer of rock to dissipate the heat that was coming up. Um, yeah, I don't know, probably a foot in some areas. They laid that rock and uh, raised it up so that the asphalt wouldn't melt as bad. So here for the borehole for Yellowstone Lake, we got another one marked in red. That is at 920, or actually a little bit before 920 Universal Time. USGS is not reporting this earthquake. That one comes in as at least a magnitude 1.95. It very possibly could be also a magnitude 2. Um, the P wave on this is about the, a little bit shorter than the other one, uh, the 2.2, so it's probably close to the same location. This one occurred at about 3.20 a.m. this morning, local time. Then we got another one. Well, actually, it's a series of them. Um, let me make that bigger. We got two. Boom, boom. So we'll just, okay, I'll just do the first one, put it right there. That comes in as a magnitude 1.73 at 10.12. Also not being reported, let me pull this over, and then we got this one. Probably comes in as a magnitude 1.54. Yeah, this is harmonic tremors, which means magma's on the move. And um, it's probably fairly close uh, going towards Yellowstone Lake, but not at Yellowstone Lake. You can see the P waves are about the same distance. So let's take a look at Denny Creek because that's where the to Toilinos have been showing. Yeah, Sawtooth, look at that. Yeah, still ongoing with some small, small quakes mixed in there. Yeah, we got a popping of the rock right there. This is when I just pulled the files, oh, maybe a half an hour ago. Trying to put this all together. And who knows how long it's going to take me to edit and do all that. Yeah, they've got more earthquakes up there. And let's take a look at the spectrogram. Two lines of melt. So you can see... Yeah, the um, hot water, hot gases came up from fairly deep right there. And we got some more there. There's three lines of melt there. Looks a little thicker here. One, two, three, four lines of melt with an earthquake right there. 
you can barely see it you know a little popping more popping of the rock so going to um, Google Earth this is the location for Denny Creek the monitor is actually right there okay and this is close to where they had the magnitude 2.2 and here we got Hedge and Lake and this is the area for the airport and the uh, small village there yeah people live there sometimes all year round in the wolf camera here we have the monitor for the western boundary that's close to the same location let me see if I can find it here I cleaned up a lot of my files okay so it would be down over here in this location this is the area when it did its last major eruption that it did an unzipping of multiple eruptions doing a, a counterclockwise unzipping um, and this is the area that's been showing where magma is trying to come up um, possibly for another eruption a dike intrusion uh, much like what they have there in Hawaii to happen in this area that's just my opinion so again this is the western boundary and we got a small quake there two lines of melt right there's that quake let me go back right there and we'll pull it over a little bit yeah let me extract this yeah popping yeah the ground's getting so brittle it doesn't stretch anymore it's just yeah fracking uh, cracking we can see some areas where we got a thickening of the lines one there and that lasted for a while and then up over here you can see multiple lines of melt pockets of melt now remember um, there is areas where people are walking where there is melted rock melted magma um, who knows what the size is less than two football fields below where people are walking just amazing this here is the monitor for the Norris geyser basin we got one oh look at the magma that came up let's see 2018 universal time not being reported look at that line of melt look at the heat that came up look at that oh see that's a torlino in the Norris Geyser Basin area that is definitely a wow mo moment um, let me extract that if I can see if I can make it bigger alright yeah not good not good look how it yeah this is where let me pull it over a little bit where they they had the thickening of the the line see that alright let me go back and we'll go back to here yeah see right there yeah they didn't report it so the second half of it I didn't add in the first part but the second half comes in as a magnitude 2.02 .02. if I were to add in the first part let's see that would come in as a magnitude 2.29 didn't report it yeah let's go back to the seismic signature yep keeping everyone in the dark boy that's not unusual so often we see money dollars um, more important than the safety of people this here is what it was showing when I pulled the files let's take a look okay let's go back to the seismic signature I'll pull that more popping look at that pop 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 we got a small quake there yeah lots of quakes look at that okay that was what 13 12 again not being reported yeah just a quick little pop there yeah the ground is so brittle there um i wonder if they've had any new recent hydrothermal eruptions um, they don't know if they happen unless someone there actually notifies them that they did see it 
There's another small quake at uh, 1044. Did I do that one? Also not being reported. Yeah, that one was shallow. Okay. And then... Let's see. Oh, I only did... Um, a day and a half of, of data that I downloaded. Look how it just went bonkers here. Oh, the machine stopped working. Okay. Right there. Yep, so what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.